the pressure rises. I don't worry. Cause I know that God is fighting for me. Cause for your name. He is me. Lord you know. Load up the next one. Dim them lights, man. Them flies that kill me dead. Run tune.
Ay, guay de tu quitaque. Ampre, 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 ampre,
follow Jesus anywhere he goes. Amen. <laughs> Run tune, man. Let's go. Pull that. Yes, man. Take it. More people are moving. I wanna see you move. I wanna see you go. I wanna see you move. I wanna see you go. I wanna see you move. I wanna see you go. I wanna see you move. I want somebody rock, 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 rock away, rock, rock, rock away, rock, rock, rock away. Come on, move me. Christ is in the air, yeah. and the mighty man of oh. I see the mighty man, I see the mighty man, I see the mighty man. You know this one? Walk away. 
understand. Run it. Jesus, put your hand in the air. If you love Jesus, put your hand in the air. If you love Jesus, put your hand in the air. If you love Jesus, put your hand in the air. If you love Jesus, put your hand in the air. If you love Jesus, put your hand in the air. If you love Jesus
Jesus. Put your hand in the air. If you love Jesus. Put your hand in the air. I want to see you. I want to see you shopping. I want to see you shopping. I want to see you shopping. Come on, let me see you. Let me see you. Because you know what I mean? You gotta make sure they understand. He said, Who said that Christian can't bunt? Who said that Christian can't weave? Who said that Christian can't jump? Hey, tell him again. Tell him again. Tell him again. Tell him again. By like we're free. By like we're free. By like we're free. Run it, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> Tune. Something else might come out the head top. Run it. Ah, we got come out this side them now. Come on, do my thing and let people and see you, man. Like we're hide. Vamp, big up yourself. Real up yourself, man. Big up yourself. <laughs> wow! I 
I wanna see your way back. I wanna see your way back. I wanna see your will. 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 Come on, somebody, come on, come on. I wanna see you moving. 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 I wanna see you. Pull that till it's a boy. What's the pepper? Let me go. Yo. <laughs> oh, oh, you wanna keep the flow? Run. Wow. Yeah. We got it! We got it! We got it! We got it! Yeah, this is everyone we got! We got this shit, 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 shit! Yeah. 
We got this spirit to praise the baby Noah. We got this strength to see the baby Noah. We got this spirit to praise the baby Noah. I want to see you jump away. Jump, 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 Bate o pé dele. E a mãe? Yes, sir. Caiu para o school. Let's go. I've been working so hard, I really can't 
For you want to hear you sing, he will make a way. I hear you. I want to hear you. I know God will make a way for me. Let the devil hear my name. Speak to me in the atmosphere. I said, He will make, he gonna make a way. 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 He gonna, yeah. Run the two man, run the two. Yeah. Say, 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 he will make our way. 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 I know. God will make our way for me. Me. 
man, take it away. Give me back the scene. Yeah. See somebody rock with me, man. Let me jump up and I wanna see you move, man. I wanna see you move. I wanna see you grow. I wanna see you move. I wanna see you. Take it away. Christ is in the air, and the mighty man come. I see the mighty man. I see the mighty man. I see the mighty man.
Yes. Just want to pick up everybody in the place. Yes, we are the Vision Gospel Band straight out of Nevis. We want to pick up the CCM Massive in the place, praise God. But I want to see some motion. Huh? Are you for tell me? I too dead. I need to level up myself. <laughs> Let's go back old school. Maybe you know this one. Oh, 
come up like a king pig Been spotting up every day Now I need a And it's not me Still gotta keep going on This me, Jaja Blaze I'm a son of God I'm a leader So in the midst of the best I'm a good day Please be surrounded God's mercy Please be going on Sing one, two, one, two, three
gentlemen, good night. How you feeling tonight? I'm feeling good. I think tonight's going to be a good night. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to Caribbean Cove. It's our final meeting. Elections are upon us. Tomorrow is the 12th of December. What a glorious day it's going to be. I can't keep the smile off of my face tonight. CCM people, how are you feeling? That's right, that's right. Let's get started. And of course, you know, that we like to start off things in the right way in the Concerned Citizens Movement. So let us reverence ourselves wherever we are, eyes closed, heads bowed, as we go to the Lord in prayer. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, merciful and loving Father, our God, all of the heavens are yours and the earth also is yours. All power and glory belong to you, for you alone are God. We acknowledge you in all our ways. We pray that you will direct our path. Forgive us, dear Lord, our imperfections, and deliver our every thought from evil. Grant us wisdom and understanding and a heart of love and compassion to one another, O Lord. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of a campaign, a campaign that has taken us over the length and breadth of the island of Nevis. We have been to the highways and the byways, to all of the villages, to reach out to all of our people in an effort, in an effort to ensure that come tomorrow election day, that the concerned citizens movement will be returned to government with a resounding victory. CCM people, are you feeling? that the victory is close. I believe that the victory is at hand and it is not just a victory for CCM, but it is a victory for all of Nevis because we know it to be true that the only party the only party that stands for the best interests of the people of Nevis is the Concerned Citizens Movement. Ladies and gentlemen, to do anything contrary is not in the best interests of the people of Nevis. To do anything different is not in your interest and your children's interest and your grandchildren's interest. Let us do what is right tomorrow so that the generations who are here now could live in a good Nevis and that the generations who are to come can inherit a Nevis that is as good as today or better. You see, our goal our goal is to continue to move Nevis forward. And to do that, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, to do that, we need your help at the poll tomorrow. This is no time for anybody to be complacent. This is no time for anybody to say that CCM has this in the bag. So you're going to stay home. No, this is not the time for that. This is the time for each and every one of us 
to go out. Go out, ladies and gentlemen, to ensure that we march to victory tomorrow and not just to any ordinary victory, to a landslide victory in one, in two, in three, in four, in five. I am Spencer Van. CCM people, Nevis people, you ready? I can't hear you. You ready? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm feeling good because tomorrow, tomorrow we create history in Nevis. Tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, CCM will have all five seats in Nevis. You know, ladies and gentlemen, in 2013, we banged them 3 2 in Happy Comeback. In 2017, we banged them 4 1, the comeback. You know, for them? So, what are we going to do this time? We're going to bang them 5 0. This time, I'm getting rid of them. So ladies and gentlemen, this is your time. You cannot stay home tomorrow. Nevis needs you. CCM needs you. If you want to continue the progress that we've been, we've been experiencing, if you want Nevis to continue on the upward path, you have to go to the polls tomorrow and vote for the CCM candidate. Ladies and gentlemen, you have seen what your candidates can do. They have demonstrated over the years in good times and in bad times that they are the best for neighbors. And so, ladies and gentlemen, our party is coming back to you. This time, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new candidate over in St. Thomas's. We have the young lady, Latoya Jones. And let me tell you, she is kicking up a storm right now. She is creating problems right now. And I have a feeling, ladies and gentlemen, that tomorrow is going to be all over for them. I'm excited, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited because the world is watching. The world is watching. And they're looking at Nevis. Small as we are, we have set the trend for the whole world. We have set the trend for the whole world, ladies and gentlemen. And tomorrow, when the votes are called, we'll hear in Nevis number one, Charlestown, the Honorable Spencer Brand. Then, this one will come in late, but when it comes in in number two, we're going to hear our premier, the Honorable Mark A. G. Bansley. Then we're going to go up to 
Gingerland. And we're gonna hear the Honorable Eric Evelyn. We are circle around to number four. And we're gonna hear the Honorable Alexis Zook Jeffers. And oh Lord, when we reach to number five, when we reach to number five, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna hear the Honorable Latoya Bianca Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the reasons I'm so confident, one of the reasons I'm so excited is because you have seen this system party at work. Over these years, not one scandal has been connected to any one of them. They hand that clean, ladies and gentlemen. And so you can rest secured in the fact that your people will come in and represent you to the best of their ability. But ladies and gentlemen, this cannot happen unless we go to the polls tomorrow. And I'm telling you something, ladies and gentlemen. In, a in August, there was an election. We were all free. But somehow, NRP said they get a lot of votes, so they win. What? This time, we are going to give them no chance to say they got votes. We're going to completely wipe them out, ladies and gentlemen, because every vote will be for the concerned citizen movement. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a great leader in Honorable Mark Bantley. We have a great leader, ladies and gentlemen, despite all the cursing. Despite all what I'm saying, he is focused on Nevis. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm saying to you, give him a chance to lead this great team onward and upward to victory. So tell me, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Are you excited, ladies and gentlemen? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you are excited, you go to the polls tomorrow, you vote, and then we come here and we have one big party. On election day, we gonna have my day. It's only one choice. We don't just see him. So there's only one choice. There's only one choice, ladies and gentlemen. Ignore the noise. Ignore the distraction. Look around you. I am certain that when some of our friends came in from overseas. And the sort of development that's happening in Nevis, they were astounded. Because I'm telling you, I have seen the improvement. And when I stop and look at the, the screen, because I forget most of them. But so much work has been done. And please remember, ladies and gentlemen, all this work was done despite COVID. Despite for so two years. They had a shutdown and, and lockdown, all sorts of things. This is what your CCM government did during the time. Imagine the next five years. Imagine the next five years, ladies and gentlemen. And so, I'm saying to you, the ball is in your court. The ball is in your court. Go to the post tomorrow early and make your vote for the hammer. Make a vote for the hammer, ladies and gentlemen. Because if you don't, well, let's not go there. Because I know you will vote for the CCM. Because you have only one choice. The A team, the dream team, the Nevis team. Because I said to you, you have in our candidates the five best person to win Nevis at this time. So I'm asking you, ladies and gentlemen, do what you always did. Go to the polls and give NRP the licking of their life. Send them home and let serious people take this country forward. Good night. God bless you. See you at the polls. I see next side. Are you the tired loose? I see next side. Are you the tired loose? Yeah. I see next side. Are you the tired loose? I am Spencer Brand, the area representative 
of the constituency of St. Paul's Charlestown. My aim is to ensure the continued growth and development of the constituency of St. Paul's and certainly by extension, the island of Nevis. We want to continue to ensure that we see Here, that's what I want. I want to see all the blue coming up front with all these people all the way in the back, all the way in the back in the parking lot. Come up front, come up front, come up front. Let us see you. Some of you we haven't seen for quite a while, and so we are so happy to see you. You know. Today, every time you have elections coming up, something always happens. What? So today, the good people down there at the electoral office, doing their work, getting ready for elections tomorrow. We know that elections tomorrow, so the people will have to be in the office taking care of the things that they need to take care of. Guess what happened? NRP all out down there by the electoral office with the camera outside trying to barge into the office and so on. For what? What? For what reason? What? What is so hasty about? Because it does not matter what they do at this point. It's pure licks, licks, licks. Licks, licks tomorrow. They're all over, all over the electoral office as if it's going to make some sort of big difference. It won't make a big difference. The elections will be free and fair tomorrow. And Nevis people will go out and vote in their numbers for the concerned citizens movement and they don't like it but they can't do a thing about it they're in town we're close to town you know we're close to town and they're all over town with all kind of ray ray and rah rah what? but the people of charlestown have been saying that they don't want no ray ray and no rah rah what the people of town been saying they want? Only one brand in town. That's what the people have been saying. And that is what the concerned citizens movement want to give to town. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise and help me to welcome. Welcome to the podium. The man who is the representative for number one. The man who has been delivering for Charlestown, the man who after he is re-elected tomorrow will continue, will continue to work for the people of Charlestown and to work for all of Nevis. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me to welcome Mr. Spencer Brand. I am Spencer Brand, the area representative of the constituency of St. Paul's Charlestown. My aim is to ensure the continued growth and development of the constituency of St. Paul's and certainly by extension, the island of Nevis. We want to continue to ensure that we see our roads infrastructure development around the constituency. For Charlestown, our only town, we want to ensure that we see an upgrade in our drainage situation in the heart of Charlestown. I am a Nevisian born, bred and raised and I think that uh, I am what you, what you see is what you get. You know, I am someone who believes that our greatest asset is our people. And I believe that if we have that uh, harmonious thrust towards developing our people, then I believe that we can achieve great things together. This mic go yeah, yeah.
Ay, ay, ay. This mic is good tonight, boy. Good evening, everybody. Good night, good night, good night, good night. You know, my voice has been giving me a little problem for the last few days. But tonight, we are on the home stretch, so I will take my time tonight. I will take my time tonight. Good evening, everyone. Let me say a very pleasant good evening to all those who are listening. This rally here tonight. To all those who are viewing via the various social media platforms. It is indeed good to see so many of you tonight. Welcome home. This afternoon I was at a particular place having some lunch. And I was indeed amazed to see how many, so many wonderful Nivisions who have made their way home to help rescue and to maintain this country that you love so well. I am indeed delighted to see so many of you and we are happy to have you. Tonight, we are here, ladies and gentlemen, to wind down this campaign for the Nevis Island administration election tomorrow morning. And I came to you, I came to you in 2017, and I said to you, I wanted you to give me an opportunity and a chance to represent you in Charlestown. I said to you in 2017 that if you were to give me that chance and that opportunity to represent you, I will earn the rest. I am convinced, ladies and gentlemen, that I have earned re-election tomorrow morning. I am convinced of that. You know why? The other side is going around saying that nothing has happened in Charlestown. What? And sometimes I wonder if these people are really living in Nevis. Sometimes I wonder if when these people look at themselves in the mirror, that they can look at the mirror and say that they are telling the truth. I am here to say to you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, that I am disappointed in some of them because they have become a stranger to the truth when they have campaigned in this campaign, ladies and gentlemen. They have said that nothing has happened in St. Paul's. But I am here to say to you that in Hamilton, ladies and gentlemen, we erected a 400,000 gallon water storage tank in Hamilton for the people of St. Paul. In Hamilton, ladies and gentlemen, we have ensured that we installed a water filtration system at Hamilton because when I became the representative of St. Paul's, I recognized that there was a high yielding well in Hamilton but unfortunately the well had some contaminant in it that did not meet World Health Organization standard and I asked myself we are living in 2020 in 2021 there must be some technology somewhere in this world that can fix this problem and I'm happy to say to you that we found that technology and we were able to install that piece of technology at Hamilton and now we are getting 216,000 gallons per day from a well 216,000 gallons of water per day from a well Mike you that the NRP said was no good and I said to them well they said that it was no good. But now we are providing water to the people of Charleston from a well that they claim was no good. They have said, ladies and gentlemen, that nothing has been done in St. Paul's. 
But when I became your representative, I recognized that the principal and the management team at the Charleston Primary School was operating out of what we call a cub. What? What we call a cub. The principal of the largest primary school, when she sit at her desk, her knee would be hitting the wall and I said that that was unacceptable. I said that that was unacceptable. And we went in and we took off the roof of that office at the Charleston Primary School. We went up with the top floor and today I am happy to say to you that the principal and the management team at the Charleston Primary School can now operate in offices that are much more comfortable. And they say nothing has happened. They have said nothing has happened. I am here to say to you, ladies and gentlemen, that when I became the, the representative for St. Paul's, a lot of you know Ramsbury. A lot of you lived in Ramsbury. And in Ramsbury, ladies and gentlemen, we have some drainage issues in Ramsbury. When I was on this campaign just last week, we, I believe it was Mikkel Manners. Where is he? Where is Mikkel? I wanted a witness. I wanted a witness. We went into a young lady yard, and I, I had even forgotten that. We went into a young lady yard, and the young lady said to me, Mr. Brand, Joseph Walcott Parry came and looked at the problem. At the same speed he walked into the yard, he walked back out. What? He's, she, I'm not lying. She said to me, ladies and gentlemen, Eva Belto Hector came as the representative of St. Paul's. And she said to me that Hector told her, I cannot help you. What? I, as the representative of St. Paul's, ladies and gentlemen, went and looked at the problem. And I'm happy to say to you tonight that with all the rain that fell a couple of weeks ago, with all of the rain that fell a couple of weeks ago, that lady was able to sleep comfortably in her home. How the country running? Country running good. Help the country running good. Let it run, 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 run. Because every time a little bit of rain fall, the lady was worried. The water was up to her window because a gut came right to her property and they said they couldn't help her. But we went in and we remedied that problem, ladies and gentlemen. And you know the strangest thing, the strangest thing that has happened. Some of the same people who said to her that they couldn't help her went to her door just last week asking her for her vote. What? And you know what the young lady said to tell them? You know what the young lady said to them? The young lady said to them, Gito Tamiyan a voting for man. The young lady said to them, get out of my yard, I'm voting for brand. You understand what I'm telling you? They have said that nothing has happened in St. Paul's, ladies and gentlemen. You know? <laughs> Why? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, in St. Paul's, in St. Paul's, we ensured that we reconstructed Chapel Street. We reconstructed Happy Hill Alley. We reconstructed Jewel Street. We reconstructed Government Road. They drive on it every day. They park their vehicles on it almost every day. And they say nothing happened. So my conclusion is that they have become a stranger to the truth, ladies and gentlemen. When I became the area representative for St. Paul's, I met a situation in St. Paul's where persons from St. Paul's were being offered low-income housing all the way at Madden's 
and Hanley's Road and Zion. And I ask the question, well, why is it that people from Charleston must have to go all the way to Madden's or all the way to Zion to own a home? And I say, no. There are people in St. Paul's who need to remain in St. Paul's. So I went. Mark you, the government did not own any land in St. Paul's. I want you to keep that to the back of your mind. The government did not own any lands in Charleston, in St. Paul's. Because you would expect that lands in Charleston would be some of the most expensive land in in, on the island of Nevis. But I said, no, we must find land somewhere in Charleston to build affordable houses for the people of Charleston. And I went the length and breadth of St. Paul's. I was able to find land in Hamilton. I was able to find land in Quaddock Road. And today I am happy that some 35 families from Charlestown now have access to affordable housing. But they say nothing has happened. You know, I want to say to those 35 families that when they come to you and ask you to vote for them, Tell them. <laughs> I want you to tell them that you're sticking with brand in Charlestown. I want you to tell them that there will be only one brand in Charlestown on the 12th of December. On election day, we gonna have a devil. It's only one choice. We vote for CCM. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just given you a synopsis of some of what we have achieved in Charlestown. I have been told that my time is limited tonight, but I want to share with all of you what my vision is for St. Paul's over the next five years. I have heard my colleagues, and all of them have their ambitious agenda for their constituency. But I'm saying to you, I am saying to all of you, that in the next dispensation, I want you to really remember and pray for the next Minister of Finance. You know why? Because he's going to have five, well, he's going to have four other elected members in cabinet with himself that make five. That will be fighting for every single dollar to develop their constituency. So I want you to pray for him because he is going to have to make some hard decision in the next dispensation. Because Eric wants to spend half all the money in Gingerland. Latoya wants to spend half all the money in St. Thomas's. Alexis Jeffers wants to spend half all the money in St. James's. I definitely want to spend half all the money in St. Paul's. And I know that the Premier wants to spend as much as he can in St. John's. But I will say to you tonight, I will say to you tonight, do not worry. We have a team. We have each other's back. And whenever we make a decision, we will make the best decision for the people of Nevis. I have said, ladies and gentlemen, I have said that it is time that we give serious attention to the E.T. Willard Park. I have said that the time has come for us to position E.T. Willard Park as a first-class venue on the island of Nevis for international cricket. It is high time. It is high time, ladies and gentlemen. I have said, ladies and gentlemen, that a few years ago, we had a fisherman pier in Charlestown, which was destroyed by a hurricane some years ago. It is my intention to have that fisherman's pier, ladies and gentlemen, reconstructed so the fisherman in Charlestown can have a proper home. I have said, ladies and gentlemen, that we have a lot of boats in Charlestown. And the minute we have a little bad weather, they scramble to get their boats out of the water, and it is not an easy task. I have said that I intend to construct a boat lift somewhere in Charlestown so that all of these marinas can be able to remove their boat at the spin of a dime. 
I have said, ladies and gentlemen, we have the old customs building in Charlestown. A historic building. And I am saying that we will ensure that we see the renovation or the reconstruction of that property for the use of the people of Charlestown. I have said, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Ramsbury Playfield. And that, and you know the thing that upset me about that? That playfield was done under the Honorable A. Michael Perkins. Under the Honorable A. Michael Perkins, when he was the representative in St. Paul's. And the fellow who I have put in retirement have not even up to this day went and used or put one single nail on that facility there in Ramsbury. I have said, ladies and gentlemen, we will ensure that we develop that Ramsbury playfield that will make it comparable to any other field here on the island of Nevis. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all of you know that we have a historic town, Charlestown. All of you know of the trust that we have made to try and get Charlestown inscribed as a World Heritage Site. And we missed out because of a certain issues we face in Charlestown. I am saying to you that it is my intention to construct two bus terminals on the outskirts of Charlestown to deal with those bus situations that we have in Charlestown. I want them to be two state-of-the-art modern bus terminals in Charlestown, ladies and gentlemen. I want that when you leave Charlestown and you go into Gingerland, you can relax in comfort. You can have a nice cup of coffee. You can sit in an air-conditioned terminal and wait for the bus. Why should the people of Gingerland and why should the people of Newcastle have to stand in the rain and wait for a bus? I think we have way past that. We have long past those days, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I have said earlier that we were able to find some lands in Quadacode and Hamilton. We have 35 families who were able to obtain a low-income home. But I would say to you and I would share to you that even though 35 families benefited, we have had over 300 applications for those 35 homes. You could imagine over 300. And I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, I will look again the length and breadth of St. Paul's to find additional land because there's a lot of land around, you know. There's a lot of land around, I can tell you. But they are all covered in bush. You just have to know where to look. And I will look and I will find it. And I will ensure, ladies and gentlemen, that in the next five years, we will be able to construct an additional 50 low-income homes for the people of St. Paul's. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I want to say to you that this election is a serious election. It's a very serious election. We have had a lot of fun on this campaign. We have enjoyed ourselves. And we have come on this platform and we have made the argument to the people of Nevis. We have come to you. We have knocked on the doors and we have said to you, give us your support on the 12th of December. But I want to say to you, ladies and gentlemen, this is a serious election. And you know why I think it's a serious election? We went through, ladies and gentlemen, a global pandemic. We went through a global pandemic. And the premier of this country, he said he begged, he said he pleaded, he said the only thing he didn't do was to go down on his knees and ask NRP to join him. And you know what NRP did? NRP said to the premier and to the people of Nevis, not them. What? NRP said to the premier and to the people of Nevis that they will not stand with you to fight COVID. What? And now they are coming back to you and asking you to install them as the government of the island of Nevis. 
ladies and gentlemen, my message to you tonight is very simple. Just as the Nevis Reformation Party did not stand with you in the fight against COVID, I want you to reject them on the 12th of December. They are not serious about the people of Nevis. They do not love the people of Nevis. Because when the island of Nevis was as it darkest hour, the Nevis Reformation Party said not them. What? They said not them. And now, they are coming and asking you to elect them as the government. And ladies and gentlemen, just as the Nevis Reformation Party turned their backs on the people of Nevis during COVID, I want you to turn your backs on them on the 12th of December. So, tomorrow morning, we are offering to you in Nevis number five, the young, talented Latoya Jones in St. Thomas's. My message to St. Thomas's is to come home to CCM. Come home to CCM. Come home to CCM St. Thomas's and give your support to Miss Latoya Jones. In St. James's, we have the Honorable Alexis Jeffers. And I'm saying to the people of St. James's, stand with Alexis because he continues to stand with you. In Gingerland, we have the Honorable Eric. <laughs> I have deliberately omitted his middle name during this campaign. I have deliberately omitted Eric's middle name in this campaign. I don't want a soul to get anything mixed up. I am going to say Eric Evelyn for Gingerland. And Gingerland, you know how we do it up in Gingerland. Go to the polls and vote overwhelmingly for the Honorable Eric Evelyn. In St. John's, pound for pound, ounce for ounce, man for man. There is only one sheriff in town and that is the Honorable Mark Brantley. And then you come to Charlestown. Oh, Charlestown, Charlestown, Charlestown. Lovely Charlestown, sweet Charlestown. I have come again. I have come to you again. As I did in 2017. And I'm asking you, Charlestown, come tomorrow. I want you to go to the polls and vote overwhelmingly for yours truly, the Honorable Spencer Rudolph Brand in the heart of Charleston. And this DJ, this DJ punching tonight, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that that is my quota for tonight. We have a tight schedule. But I want to say to you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow morning and throughout the day tomorrow, I want you to be vigilant. I want you to be very observant tomorrow. I want you to be the gatekeepers of the democracy of the land that you love so well, the island of Nevis. And if you see anything that looks funny, call somebody. If you see anything that looks funny, make some noise. And if you see anything look funny, you know, CCM have some brilliant lawyers. If you see anything look out of order, we're going to deal with them. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here to say to you, the Concerned Citizens Movement Party is asking you to ensure that when the numbers are tallied, I want you to give the Concerned Citizens Movement Party all five seats in this election so we can continue to move this country forward and upward. Thank you, good night, and God bless. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much, Spencer. You all heard it. That's a man with a lot of plans. A man who is ready to move Charleston and the rest of Nevis forward. You see, when others only see bush, when others see water that is unusable, Spencer is a man with a plan who knows how to get things done. And so, come election day tomorrow, we know when it comes to Charleston, no Riri, no Rara. There is only one brand in town. Elections are serious things. And we need people who are capable. And Spencer Brand is capable. Carlton Dupont, how are you? Good night. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when you go out to the polls tomorrow, you're voting for the Concerned Citizens Movement. They're going to have two symbols on the ballot paper. You're going to see a battle. We're not working with no battle. You understand? Three. The other one not make no sense. We're not talking about that. You're going to see a battle. Okay? We ain't working with no battle. We're not in no battle thing. And then you're going to see the symbol of the hammer. When you're building anything, you need a hammer. You can't build anything without a hammer. And we are about the business of building Nevis. So when you see the hammer, you know that you put your neat little X in the box next to the hammer and you are voting for the Concerned Citizens Movement. My name is Eric Evelyn. I represent the constituency of St. George, Gingerland, that's Nevis 3. I have been the representative for the past five years. I am absolutely the best candidate for St. George, Gingerland. Why? Because I've always been embedded in the community. I am community-minded. I'm involved in practically everything in my community of St. George Gingerland. There are several projects in my constituency that I'm particularly proud of. We have broken ground for a housing project in Rice's village. We now have a vocational center at the Gingerland Secondary School. The biggest project for me, the one that I'm extra, extra proud of, is the David Freeman Center of Excellence. And that is by far my largest project and one that I am super proud of. The center is very widely utilized because we are now having classes in masquerade dancing, in fife playing, in other cultural acts. We have a graduation being held there. We have church activities being held there. And it is an excellent, I think it was an excellent investment by the Nevis Island administration for us to have that center there in Gingerland. Of course, since I've been the representative as well, we've had numerous road projects as well. And so the work continues. We have a lot more to do. And so that is why the people of St. George Gingerland must continue to invest their trust and their confidence in me. All the people from Gingerland make some noise. We know that Gingerland is CCM country. The NRP not even bother to talk about Gingerland. And when it comes around Gingerland, we know that our representative and our man is none other than the Honorable Eric Evelyn. DJ, play something. Let Eric dance for us tonight. He's going to dance his way all the way back into government. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me to welcome to the podium your representative for Gingerland, the Honorable Eric Evelyn.
you're not tired, lose. Ah, you're not tired, lose. Ah, you're not tired, lose. We rolling with the big blue machine. Good night, good night, CCM people. Good night, CCM massive. You know, I ain't doing much talking tonight because I done ready for the victory dance. Because I can see right outside of the Caribbean Cove gate, victory. I can see victory for the Concerned Citizens Movement. And so tonight, let me greet all of the bl wonderful blue people who are here in Caribbean Cove. A special welcome to those of you who came home and came to ensure that Nevis remains blue come Monday and Tuesday. And of course, we say a special good night to all of the wonderful folks who are logged on and listening via radio and those following online. Because people are anxious like me for the victory. Look how easy we go have a day. Everything we do is a bad day. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I have a short, short message. I want to say to the people of Gingerland, I want to thank you for investing your trust and your confidence in me in 2017. And in five short years, take away two because of COVID. I, your humble servant, I have delivered, and I have delivered well. Because guess what? I am part of the A team. The team, the dream team. I am part of a cabinet that makes sure that whatever we do, people matter most. And so in five short years, ladies and gentlemen, I have delivered. I have delivered in culture. You saw the video. I have delivered in the area of sports, in terms of improving our facilities. You saw the David Freeman Center of Excellence. I have delivered in the area of education. You pass on the main road and you see the spanking brand new Tibet Center there. The exciting works that have been done and the improvements to the Gingerland Secondary School and all the other learning institutions in Gingerland. I have delivered in agriculture. Of course, Gingerland is once again becoming the breadbasket of the island of Nevis. You would have, some of you would have visited the 35 acre farm down at Indian Castle. And of course, we're doing excellent work in agriculture and fisheries in Nevis. And so, that is why Gingerland, St. George's, my constituency will be once again recognized as the breadbasket of Nevis. I, deli I have delivered in community development, improvements to our community centers. I have delivered in infrastructure, in roads. I have delivered in water. We have the water reservoir up at Stony Hill, 500,000 gallons. And the new one going up at Pun Hill, 250,000 gallons, ladies and gentlemen. I have delivered in infrastructure with regards to roads, the interpretation center. And ladies and gentlemen, the plan continues to do much more because in my new term, in the new term of your CCM-led Nevis Island administration, I will bring the refurbishment of the Gingerland Public Market. The Gingerland Police Station will get a facelift. Oh yes, we're going to bring more housing. We're going to acquire more lands. We're going to continue our work on our sporting facilities. We're going to continue our work in our education facilities. Rollins, you're going to get your community centre. We're going to have road improvement at Rollins. In Cook's Ground, in Maynard Ground, in Taylor's Pasture, in Rice's, and the list goes on and on. And we are also bringing, we are also bringing a polyclinic to Gingerland. And so there's lots in store. And that is why the people of St. George Gingerland, which has always been blue, will remain blue come tomorrow. On election day, we gonna have my So yes, ladies and gentlemen, a lot has been accomplished in five short years. 
And I am asking the people of Gingerland, the good people of Gingerland, who have known me all of my life. I have been in everything in the community. The people in Gingerland, they see me every day. They feel me, they touch me, they trust me, and they know me. They know me, and that is why they will go with me again tomorrow. Because I've told them, go with who you know. And the people of Gingerland know me. I want to say a quick thing regarding the polling stations tomorrow. Polling station one will be at the New River Methodist Church for the people in Zion and New River and um, Harris's and Webb's ground, those surrounding areas. Polling station two will be at the Gingerland Preschool for persons in Hickmans and Portugals and River Path and those surrounding areas. Polling station three will be at the Charles Walters Community Center in Hanley's Road for the people in Hanley's Road and Rice's and Matchman's and Main Street, Gingerland. Polling station 4A will be at the Interpretation Center built by your CCM administration up there at hard times for persons in Rollins and Stony Hill and Zetland and the surrounding areas with your surname beginning from A going down to H. And 4B will be at the Joycelyn Library Primary School for the others, other surnames. And polling station 5 will be at the Gingerland Secondary School for persons living in Taylor's Pasture, Maynard Ground, Clegot, and the surrounding areas. Please go out early, cast your vote for the hammer. Make sure that you make a nice, neat X in the box. Even if you don't remember my name, look for the hammer. Look for the hammer, because tomorrow it will be hammer time. I'm coming with the big blue machine. I'm with the big blue machine. This is this is my business. Tell them we can't clear. We can't clear. When the big blue machine touch my lips. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here as well to support all of the other candidates. Because we have an excellent, formidable team, a team that is committed to the development of Nevis, a team that is, is committed to the development of the people of Nevis. And that is why I am here to support in number one, in number one, the only brand in town, Spencer Rudolph Brand. And I feel good, I feel good that Spencer gonna got an easy victory in town. Because wherever you go in town, you see his DNA. So, Charlestown, Nevis 1, vote for Spencer Brand. Up in Nevis 2. Up in Nevis 2. The sheriff. The sheriff. Oh, Lord. One of the most astute and intelligent leaders in this region. The Honorable Mark A.G. Brantley. Our premier. Our leader, Nevis 2, gone clear. Over in Nevis 4, St. James Parish, the parish that they coop in, the constituency that they coop. What? But they could coop from now until next year because it is Zook for sure in number four. In number five. In number five, in number five, our brand new, our brand new horse on the track, Latoya, Bianca, Jones. All the way with L, B, J. I'll tell you good night, darling. Ladies and gentlemen, and then back up to St. George in Jalan, Nevis 3, Nevis 3. The only option up there is yours truly, your humble servant, Eric Evelyn. Send me back to work for you. Tell them we can't clear. We can't clear. We can't clear. We can't clear in one. We can't clear in one. We can't clear in two. We can't clear in three. We can't clear in four. And we gone clear in five, all five. Let's paint Nevis blue. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Go out in your numbers. May we have a safe and free election tomorrow. God bless you. Have a good night.
Ginger Lai, we're winning with Eric. If you believe that's true, let me hear you. You know this is a rally. We're rallying into election day tomorrow. You see, I like how Eric do it. I want everybody else to take pattern off of Eric. I like how he do it. He come up here and he know that tomorrow Gingerland's going to give him an overwhelming victory. We done went all over Nevis and talk and talk and talk. Tonight we're going to rally and rally and rally. And come tomorrow, Gingerland. Gingerland come out early. Early. And when you don't do the business in Gingerland, pan out all over Nevis and help all of the other constituencies. My name is Latoya Bianca Jones and I am the candidate for Nevis 5 St. Thomas Parish in this upcoming local elections. I was, I was born and raised in St. Thomas's Parish. I would have left when I went to university, um, that's Mono College in New York, but I've been involved in my community from an early age, so that is where I've been. That's my foundation and I still reside in St. Thomas's to this day. Running for office for me, it's about people. I have always wanted to serve and empower the people of St. Thomas's Parish and by extension the people of Nevis. We want the best for each other. I think the least is representation, having the proper representation in government to support the community. I think that has been lacking for over 20 plus years and so that is why I am here because I know I have what it takes to represent my people with distinction and to do all I can to make life better for them. You know, we have not been able to hear from our brand spanking new candidate for number five because she had a little miss up. But you know, this is a brave, a brave and courageous young lady. So please come forward, come forward. The only place in Nevis we have any winds of change blowing is in St. Thomas's. So please come and help me to welcome, welcome, welcome to the podium, the next representative for St. Thomas's, the brave and the courageous LBJ, Latoya Bianca Jones. I wanted to be on the platform but you know God knows best but I had to be here tonight I had to be here to rally with the team and I had to be here to see the good people of CCM CCM massive let me hear you some noise I remember it was just my launch the other day and I step on stage. I remember it. And then after that, I was looking forward to being on the platform all the time. But you know, things happen. But I have to end it this way. And I had to come here tonight. When I started out, I put forth my plans and my vision for a better St. Thomas's. I didn't come to make noise with anybody. I came and I provided a comprehensive plan outlining health, education, 
land and housing, infrastructure, you name it, I produce a plan. And you know what my opponent said? That I stole the idea from her. What? But she is yet to produce a plan. I have published my plans and I've shared my plans throughout St. Thomas's parish. And I want the people to understand that I am not here for self. I am here to serve and empower you. And that is why I was able to bring the ideas before you and lay them on the table and say, these are my plans for a better St. Thomas. And today, who would have thought after so many years that St. Thomas's for the first time has become a battleground? St. Thomas is at all costs and to this day I've been trying to figure out what that means because I told myself no matter what they come with they will not stop LPJ in St. Thomas Thomas is. You know, they felt like the 
because I wasn't on the platform. I know I can't walk well right now. But let me tell you something, my campaign did not stop. I continue to reach people by other means. And my team, oh, I want to thank my team because they were out there rallying for me and all the other supporters. And that is why tomorrow, tomorrow, St. Thomas says is coming home to CCM. when they say all five for we. I keep hearing them talking about these polls. And these polls, the polls say that the opposition said they're going to win three to four seats. And I keep asking myself, but how? They need to ask them back for the money. What? Victory is for CCM. The people of Nebes sticking with CCM because CCM is the better party. CCM is the to govern this country. CCM comes with plans. We don't come on the platform and curse people personally. You know why? Attacking people don't give you, don't give you jobs. It don't put food on your table. It don't send your children to school. Attacking people does nothing for the betterment. It does nothing. And that is why this CCM party, we continue to put forth our plans. We continue to highlight our records. And everybody know what my records are in St. Thomas's because I've been sharing them from day one. When I enter, I put my records and I put my plans before. From donating school supplies to the school, hosting Mother's Day luncheon, pool tournaments, Initiating and organize awards, excellence awards for youth. I have done it all. And no matter what, the people of St. Thomas is know that I am one of them. I have lived among them. I didn't go anywhere I left and come back because I was given a seat for politics. I was there all the time. And that is why none of them can run me from St. Thomas. Is. St. Thomas's don't belong to me, you know. St. Thomas's belong to all of us. But I can tell you, I, Latoya Bianca Jones, I am here to make a difference in St. Thomas's. And nothing is going to stop me from doing it. So I tell them, because I get messages, tell them don't feel sorry for me, I am fine. I am a God-blessed child. But I know come tomorrow, I know when to come tomorrow when the numbers come in and we hear St. Paul's gone clear, St. John's gone clear, St. George gone clear, St. James gone clear and everybody jumping up because St. Thomas is gone clear too. Thomas I want to send a message to you. It is time. It is time for change in St. Thomas. It is time for you to elect a representative that can truly serve you. She has been your elected representative for three years and ask yourself, what has she done for you? What has she done for you? Time and time again, I have asked my opponent, to bring her record and put it next to LBJ's and let's see who is the better candidate. And to this day, to this day, guess what? She's struggling to do it because the reality is there is no comparison between her and I. The reality is I have done far more in St. Thomas's and I am not an elected representative. But I know the people of St. Thomas's from my walkthroughs, my calls, 
everybody excited and everybody screaming that this time we are going all the way with LBJ. Now I want to educate everyone. We are going to the polls tomorrow. And we need to go out early. Don't wait until last minute. Let's go out early and put your ex right next to that hammer. Put your ex right next to that hammer. Take your family with you, your friends with you. We have to be in this together from one parish to another. I am happy to be a part of this great party and I will continue to thank my leader, my leader honorable Mark A.G. Brantley for seeing the potential in me and my colleagues as well. They have been my, my biggest supporters, my family, my friends, and I can never thank them enough. But you know, in CCM, what I love about CCM is that CCM empower the youth. And I will continue to stress it because it is true, I am young. I'm only 31 years old, so tell them I'll be here for a long time. On election day, we gonna have my family. It's only one choice, we go to CCM. I'll be here for a long time, and I know there are many other young people around the CCM party who will climb the ladder and not just the CCM party but the young people of Nevis will rise under this CCM led administration come tomorrow and so I want to encourage all I can't stand for much more longer but I had to be here I had to let my voice be heard and I had to rally behind my team because this is not just about me. It's about all, all of us, candidates and supporters. So I want us to go out tomorrow and I want us to go to the polling stations early and put our X next to the hammer. And then after that, you know, once election results come, in, come out, we are back here at the court because we partying, we celebrating. But first, we have to do business. Business comes first. And then we party after. CCM Massive! Thank you for having me tonight. I wish I could have stayed longer. But I'm happy that I came. And I'm happy that I spoke. St. Paul's Parish, let me hear you! Only brand in town! practicing both of them holding up that's how we do it here in the concerned citizens movement we lean on each other and you know 
the people of Nevis can rest assured that this is a government for all the people. You see, we are brothers and sisters, and where one is weak, you can lean on the other. And that is what we are all about. I have no doubt in my mind, you know, I'm feeling really, really, really good about this. That tomorrow, St. Thomas's, St. Thomas's is going to send a big, big, big message. And St. Thomas's will be coming over to the concerned citizens movement. I have no doubt in my mind. You see that strong, brave, courageous young lady. She has a bright, bright future ahead of her. Nevis will be so much better for putting somebody like her in government. My name is Alexis Zook Jeffers, and I am the current representative for Nevis 4 St. James Parish in the Nevis Island Assembly. And I have been the representative of St. James for the past 10 years. And over those 10 years, I have demonstrated my love and commitment to the people of St. James. As such, I'm seeking the support of the people of St. James once again to continue the hard work and dedication that I have demonstrated over the past 10 years. And I am willing to put myself up once again to ensure that we continue with the transformation of the constituency of St. James. So vote for Alexis Jeffers. Vote for the Concerned Citizens Movement in this upcoming elections. Ladies and gentlemen, you ready for Alexis? You ready for Alexis? Make some noise. I can't hear you. Are you ready for Alexis? You know, when we talk about Alexis, you often hear say that he's the hardest working man in politics. And you know why we say it? Because I just so you go. When you want anything done and you want it done on time, good and proper, it's so easy to get it done. We just call an Alexis. You hear the Premier say it all the time. And the reason why he say it is because it is so. So ladies and gentlemen, CCM people, Please help me to welcome our deputy leader. Please help me to welcome the deputy premier and the representative for the good people of St. James, the Honorable Alexis Jefferson. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Voice is still mash up, boy. Voice gone. I believe the system last night was not the best, but that's okay. Listen, I'm going to bang it out tonight so that tomorrow I just go and do my work. <laughs> CCM people, good night. Man, it's good to be here at Caribbean Cove. You know, every time we come to a CCM rally, especially the final rally, there's a kind of energy that we build up going right into election day. And I feel it tonight. I feel it. And the feeling is one that tells me, come 6 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, after the polls are closed and the numbers are tallied, the CCM gone clear. CCM, CCM, gone clear. Gone clear. And then the next thing we'll tell NRP I ain't not tired lose. That's the next side. I ain't tired lose. Oh. That's the next side. Tired lose, and that is what is gonna to happen to the NRP tomorrow. You know they're up and down with a kind of hype, so they're winning 4-1. What? I believe they were either upside down looking at 4-1 or right side up. I don't know how they were. But I know for sure that CCM will prevail in all five seats in Nevis. We have made the commitment to the people of Nevis that we want all five to ensure that every constituency is looked after. Everyone, you just heard Lataya Brianka Jones. 
That's the future of the CCM party. That is the future of Nevis. That is the face that you'll see in politics for many years to come. And I'm going to tell you this much. Based on what you saw tonight, based on what you have seen over the last couple of weeks and couple of years, Lataya Brianka Jones is demonstrating to you, the people of Nevis, not just CCM people, to the whole of Nevis, she's a decent, honorable, hard-working, dedicated young woman. And when we speak about woman in politics, a woman who has come to serve, and a woman have, who have the temperament, and the acumen, and the characteristics, the qualities, you'll find it in Latoya Brianka Jones. And I want to commend her for her presentation tonight. We've been waiting for that all, all campaign. But of course it's what it is. And even though she has some difficulties now, she will rise again. Because you know what, I believe as soon as the counting come in and she win, she's going to jump up and start to run. <laughs> so joyous, she will start to run and celebrate. But ladies and gentlemen, this is politics now. This is time for you to go out and vote come 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. We have done all the talking throughout the campaign. We have done a lot of talking. We have given you our achievements. We have given you all of the things that we have done in government over the last five years. We have also laid out the prescription for the future. And when it's all said and done, I know many of you have come here tonight. You didn't come to hear some long speeches. You came for the entertainment, yes, but you came to stand in solidarity with your CCM party to demonstrate that you will be going all the way with this party come election day. And when we have that victory, oh man, you see how blue the place look? It's going to be even bluer. There's such a word, no? There's such a word where we make up some up here. It's going to be even bluer come December 13th when we celebrate we're going to celebrate victory. And we're going to tell the NRP, go home, go sit down. Go home, they brought a team, which I call the second, the second best. If you want to use the word second best. I know the, the CCM party is the best party for Nevis. The best party in Nevis. And you're going to vote for the best party to take this country or this island forward. You're sticking with the best party. And you're going to go? You want to celebrate with them, no? Me? Let them celebrate by themselves. MRM and NRP are going to celebrate together because MRM is NRP and NRP is MRM. Two of them are the same party. They just couldn't get along as a people. And they still got confusion in NRP. They got confusion in MRM. One party that has demonstrated that it has a cohesive team. A team that is working together. A team that has stayed together. A team that the people of Nevis have appreciated over the last 10 years. That is why you have gone out and voted overwhelmingly for us. So they could try all they want, but CCM is sticking together. We're sticking with you and my CCM party. CCM all the way. Did you give me a song? Look how easy we go, But ladies and gentlemen, over the last five years, we've done a tremendous job in keeping Nevis going. We've had challenges, yes. We've had difficult times, yes. We've had some good times, yes. We've had some mixed times as well. But through it all, the CCM party has prevailed. And that is the most important thing. And when people, say, when people go on the platform and say they are hungry people in Nevis, where are they? When they say there are difficulties whereby persons cannot buy their meals. And where those are. I am not here to repeat what they said. But I'm saying to you that when they come with these lies. Nothing happened in Nevis they say. That's fine. What? But since those of you have touched down at the Van Sammer International Airport. You have come over from St. Kitts on the water taxi. And touched down on the Wally water taxi facility. Oh, they could say nothing to go on in Nevis. 
when you drive Nevis, even today, I drove through St. James over at Catalang Path, and I see a nice smooth road going down. Well, what do I mean? Nothing happened. When you go up and down Nevis, Mondo Track, you go over to the water taxi facility, as I just say. You go down into Charleston, beautiful and pristine. You go all the way up in Gingerland, you see the David Freeman Center of Attraction, all sorts of infrastructural improvement. And we have looked after the young and the old and the not so old. Our elderly folks have been looked after. Free water, free electricity, a program that does not exist in any other Caribbean country, but Nevis can be proud that we have looked after our seniors. We have made sure that they have subsidized water and electricity. We have to take care of our elderly. And I am so happy when we look out for our elderly folks because you know, they've been places, they've seen things, things that we as younger folks would never see because if they were born in the 1930s, I was born in the 60s. If they were born in the 50s, I was born in the 60s. I didn't see what they saw. But I want to say to you, there is a respect that exists in this party. To look out for our elderly, look out for our young, and look out for those who I need, the most vulnerable among us. How the country running? Country running good. If the country running good, let it run, 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 run. And the song is so true, the country running good. Why you want to change that far? I have said before that we're moving forward as an island. Going back is not the way forward. How are you going to go back to go forward? We're moving what? forward and we're not looking back. In our rear view, we see the NRP behind them making more confusion. Are we looking forward and how forward we're going? We're with we the Empire. Well, Alexis, what is your record? I have a stellar record. A record that, when it's all said and done, I look back and I say, legacies are being created all throughout the island of Nevis. Legacies for the CCM party, Alexis Jefferson, and all of the other ministers. But I want to say to you, when COVID came and visited our shores, we realized that food will be important to our people. So we went and we planted up, oh, listen, my mantra when COVID-19 came, I said that if you have never done, the, done it before, start planting, just plant something. Plant something, anything. But if you plant a mango tree, you may not eat from it today. You may not eat from it tomorrow. But somewhere down the road, someone will eat from that tree because these poly mango tree that we're eating from, they were not planted by us. Our forefathers, our grandfathers, our grandmother toiled and planted those and we are reaping the benefits now. So I said plant something. People took our message on board and they went and they planted cucumbers. All sorts of vegetables are not going to list it all. But the most important thing that we did was to go down to Indian Castle. And let me say to those who have just come, those who came in today and were not following that farm that we created down there. We have talked about it, but before you leave here, I want you to visit it. Visit that farm. But 35 acres, when we came into government, it was a field of cotton. You know, we finished the cotton a long time. What? Long time. We gone beyond that. You can't eat cotton. As a matter of fact, to ship a container back to Japan, you have to fill up a container, shipping costs, and everything have to be added. No, Nevis was not produce, just producing cotton of the volume to ship to Japan. So I don't know exactly what got into the NRP to go back to cotton. That is how they think about you and I, sending you back to the fields to break your back, to pick cotton, to clean cotton and to ship cotton away. Because we are not producing enough. Listen, I tell Eric. Eric my, was my permanent secretary. I told him, Eric, it's up to you, but if I had a cut list, I would have gone on the cut down all. Well, we eventually cut down all and went and plant food. We plant passion fruit. We plant guava. We plant banana. We planted coconut trees. We planted sugar cane. We planted pomegranate. We planted apple. So what's up? We planted almost 13 different crops down there. Watermelon as well. And we started making money out of that field. Money. I will say to you, 
Part of the reason for planting over 5,000 coconut trees, we import jelly water into Nevis. Can't be right. Can't what? be right when you go what? to the supermarket and buy jelly water for almost $17 a bottle. When you can produce it right here fresh. Fresh and wholesome. We are thinking about the health and the well-being of our people. So we said we are going to plant up a storm and we'll sell jelly water right here. Let all young people make money. Let the government make some money. And that is how you think as a government. Empower your people. Make sure that you're keeping foreign exchange right here in the island of Nevis so that businesses can be created. Employment is created and that is what we are doing with that. particular the country running? Country running good. Help the country running good. Not only that, I'll say to you that we embrace greenhouse technology. That is a prolific form of farming. I will say to you in 2013 when I was given the responsibility to manage agriculture in Nevis, there was one greenhouse. One single greenhouse. To date, we have over 30 greenhouses here on the island of Nevis. That is an advancement that we are proud of as a government. That is an advancement that we are proud of as a minister and I will make the commitment to you over the next five years we'll get to 50 or more greenhouses. We'll plant kale, tomatoes, cucumber, lettuce, those items that we normally import from California and further afield. We'll produce them here, put them in our supermarkets so our people can get uh, lettuce that is harvested today and eat tomorrow. Harvested today and even today. I spend some time on agriculture because agriculture is important to our well-being here on the island of Nevis. And we have been building a resilient sector so that we have sustainable sustainability in that particular sector. So I'm saying to the Premier tonight, when we win a warm back my ministry. Premier, are you hearing me? When I win a warm back my ministry because I want to continue in agriculture. I have said that I will establish a broiler industry here on the island of Nevis where young men and young women can get into the production of chicken. Chicken for consumption. We normally get chicken from California, from all parts of America, but they have to be shipped here. They have to be shipped here. And it takes about six months for chicken to come to Nevis. Lord, when they come, the bone and all blue. The bone and all blow how long they've been in a freezer. What? We are saying with that industry, we'll produce fresh whole chum chicken right here on Nevis. And we have already made lands available to our farmers where you can establish your business as well. We are going to give concessions and feed the material that you need, equipment, even a vehicle. We are going to give concessions so that you can establish your business and make sure you can grow and become a viable business. We import chicken as well from Jamaica, Trinidad and also Barbados. I am saying to you that we want to be consistent with what CARICOM has mandated that in the next two years, they are about by 2025, we must cut the import of chicken by 25%. So Nevis is on board with CARICOM and its mandate. The Federation is on board, and under my leadership, we will ensure that we are meeting those mandates. So that's a new industry to be established here in Nevis. But ladies and gentlemen, I said to you last night, that since the Vance Armory International Airport was renovated and upgraded about 10 years ago or more, the CCM party was the one who did that. The CCM party was the one who did that. Since then, we have heard the NRP say, so long as Van Samer International Airport is there, and so long as that name, Van Samer, is on the airport, it would never go any further. It's going to die. What? NRP has said that. What? Well, we are in government. The CCM is in government. The CCM is saying to you that we will proceed in the new term with the renovation, the expansion of that Van Samer International Airport. We'll extend the runway, build a new hangar, improve the lighting, improve the parking, build a new control tower as well. I'll say to you as well that perhaps, and it should be the case, when you touch down next time for another election in five years, you should be touching down from Miami right over the Advanced Summer International Airport. 
And if we make that commitment to you, we have to fulfill it because I want you to come and vote in your overwhelming numbers next time. So you're going to touch on Van Summer International Airport. That will provide the gateway that we want to the mainland United States. That aircraft that you see going into Anguilla and into Dominica, the American Eagle, it, it is a jet type aircraft. We want it to land right here. The last time the Eagle came, it was under the CCM. I could recall in 2003, the about when the Eagle landed, everyone cheered, everyone rejoiced. But we'll have a time for that again. And I am happy that I have put myself forward to spearhead that. And when I talk and when I move, I move with alacrity because I want things done. We have already done the valuation of the properties around that airport. So it's time to negotiate, it's time to move forward. And some may say don't do it because what they want Navy to stay as it is. No. We have bigger things to do here, big ideas. We want to do big things. We want you to be proud of your island every time you touch down here. We want to be proud of this great island called Nevis. I sure, I, if you and I were to have a conversation, I will tell you I love Nevis more than you. You'll tell me no. You love it more. And I'll tell you I love it even more. And then you'll come back and say you love it more than me. We'll always have a conversation about this island. It's the most beautiful island. Most beautiful island on this planet. Not only that, we have said to you that the last time anything was done at the Long Point Pier or Port, the CCM party was the one who did it. We are in government and we'll be in government again and we'll go up there and extend that pier to accommodate cruise ships. We are going to be building a cruise industry here so that our taxi operators, our businesses like restaurants, hotels, everyone will be able to benefit from that expansion. So we are moving Nevis forward under your CCM. They are going to come with some small ideas, little ideas like building a ferry terminal down at Indian Castle. That's what they said they're going to build. What? You all must listen to them, you know. You all must listen to them. No, you might say no. Listen to them because you have to compare our ideas with their ideas and wonder and think and ponder who is best for Nevis. But you wouldn't have to think for any length of time. CCM is the best thing. Because we're bringing big ideas, transformational ideas, ideas and programs that would move us. Move us forward in a way that we'll be all proud of this island when it's all said and done. I have said that we are committed to leaving Nevis better than we met it. Whatever we met, we are going to improve on it. Whatever we met, we are going to make it better. So we'll leave Nevis better than we met it. And ladies and gentlemen, not only that, let me go to my constituency because good things are going to happen up there too. I have said it is time for us to have a government run daycare and preschool in St. James. We have already identified the land space and we'll build that to ensure that our mothers, whether single mothers or mothers of any kind, because we have all kinds of different mothers these days, but if they have a child who needs that type of care, it will be provided for them. And the government will spearhead that because sometimes when things are left to the private sector, there are difficulties. We have one down there in St. Thomas's Ines France Preschool that is doing an excellent job there to advance our young children. Up in St. James, because we have a growing population, there's a growing demand for that service up there, and we will build that facility right there in the camps area, right on the main road as well. So that will ensure that the children that are from that area will be fed into both primary schools. We want to make sure we are building St. James and building VOJN. Keep the talent over there. Keep the talent there so when we compete with other schools on the island, we can show that we have what it takes to compete. And ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing the results already, you know, because I see St. James doing wonderful things. St. James Primary School, that is, coming all the way to the Grove Park here, or the E.T. Willard Park, and making the finals in football. That is an excellent feat for a small, all the smallest school on the island of Nevis. So I say congratulations to them. Bigger things are in store because as the representative, representative of St. James, 
I have said to you in the past and I'll say to you again that so long I am there, St. James will always get my attention first and foremost. And every institution in St. James, we're going to ensure that those institutions continue to prosper in every way. Oh, you're sweating a lot. Let me mop some sweat off. Not only that stickiness and James quickly I'll tell you I have said before that we'll build a polyclinic right up there in Pot Works and that polyclinic will be built to ease some pressure off of the Alexandra Hospital. There are times when you have emergency situations and you have to wait for an ambulance to come all the way from Government Road to St. James. What? Whether it's Butler's Brick Hill, Fountain, or wherever in St. James. We want to cut down on the time for those services to access us. We want to cut down on the time when people can access the type of relief they're looking for. Now, if you're thinking about, if you're thinking about having a simple procedure done, it can be done in a polyclinic right up there in St. James. I will say to you, if the ambulance take 25 minutes from Government Road to Potwalk, for example, if you're coming from Butler's, it's just two minutes away or three minutes away. So you will get access to healthcare much faster, much quicker. Once you're stabilized, then you can be brought to Charlestown. But that is what I am thinking about when it comes to St. James. We are all little country up there, you know. I tell you all, we're going to see it from Nevis one of these days. Oh, no? A joke, I'm making them. I'm making joke. But when I say we're going to see it, we got everything up there to see it with, you know. But I'm joking, eh? I am joking. But we have a pier. We have an airport. We'll have a polyclinic. We'll have a deck here. We have schools. We have a medical university, we have health centers, we have churches, we have hospitals, we have roads, we have people, we have everything over there. So, we are a whole country by ourselves. <laughs> anyway, we're just joking, but moving forward, I'm telling you, St. James and the whole of Nevis will be proud of your CCM party. You'll be proud that we would have... We've had the reign of government in this island. We have asked you to put your confidence and trust in us. You're going to do that tomorrow. You will do that tomorrow in overwhelming numbers. And when it's all said and done, we'll make you even proud as a division. That you came from the United States. You came from Europe. You came from St. Martin. You came from wherever you came from. To vote for the CCM to ensure you keep this country moving forward. And those of you who would have come, in many regards, they are not happy vexed with you, you know. They're vexed with you because they know the voters who come from the United States and all over to come to Davis, they have come to keep the CCM in government. Even the NRP voters who came in this afternoon and those who came in yesterday, they took the ticket from the NRP and they have come to keep the CCM in government because as proud divisions out there, when you hear things are going on here on the island of Nevis, you want to hear the best things emanating out of Nevis. You think you want to hear scandal? This government has none. You think you want to hear names being taken off voters list? This government has never done that or this party has never done that. You want to hear about anything that is not consist consistent with good governance. You might hear it elsewhere, but you won't hear it with this government. And I want to say to all of you who came, we are purchasing 36 acres of land up there in Ghana. When those are available to you, buy a piece of the rock so you have something you can call your own. You can have something that you can call a piece of the rock. You own something in Nevis when we're ready to sell get on board it will be the most pristine and most beautiful view you'll ever have so land issues here in Nevis we've always been the best you have never heard any scandal coming out of NHLDC every government prior to us have had their difficulties and they've lost government because of the Nevis housing and land and land issues but you won't find that in the CCM what we have done we have sought to ensure that we protect the patrimony of our people and we'll continue to do that 
Because we consider the lands of Davis to be sacred and lands that belong to us for us to pass on to future generations. So that's what we have done as a government. Not only that, you've heard last night from the Premier about the lands at Herbert Beach. We'll put a development plan in place for those lands. 13.9 acres of land. When those were going into a foreign hand, we decided as a government we need those lands for the people of Davis. And we have those lands. And we can co proudly call them our own. We have never taken away none of Navy's people land because we have that respect for you. And if you dare put NRP back in government, I tell you they don't come for your land. All of your land they're going to come for. Because that is their modus operandi. But we're not going down that road. We'll leave them where they are. Because I hear them say they're winning in one, they're winning in wherever. Listen, NRP not going to win a thing on Navy's tomorrow. Not a thing. Because down in number one, you hear Brand say, give him that chance in 2017. The brand new man came in then. He earned. He has earned a second term. You gave him the chance and he has earned the second term. And now the people of St. Paul's, your proud representative, Spencer Brand is coming back. Give him that chance once again. And I'll say to you, Spencer is an honorable man, a decent man. And when I say we don't want a Rere and a Rara in any government in Nevis, some people are full of a Rere and Rara. We don't want that round here. On election day, we gonna have my devil. It's only one choice. We vote to CCM. We don't want that around here, so we're sticking with the brand in town. Come up to Nevis too. That is the district of the premier of Nevis. Well, Mark Brantley was a premier from 2017 until now. Mark Bradley has said he wants to continue. So how else is he going to continue? He's going to continue. The people of St. John's Parish, whether it's down here in Bath, going all the way up the hill down into Cox, you're voting overwhelmingly for Mark Brantley. Mark Brantley is our premier. He has demonstrated as the leader of Nevis. He is the best leader for these times. He is the best leader to continue the journey that we are on to ensure that we achieve all of the things that we are talking about. He has that steady hand of leadership. And when he took over this party, I said, you cannot compare Mark Brantley to Van Samri, for example. You can't compare him to any other leader. Everybody have their own characteristics. Everybody have their own style of leadership. And everybody will be different in many ways. But the good thing about Mark Brantley, even though he's different in many ways, he has demonstrated as a leader, he is a leader who cares. A leader who is dedicated to the island and the people of Nevis. A leader who has always shown that he is willing to give up in order for us to gain. And he has done that. So I want the people of St. John's to go ahead and vote for Mark Brantley once again. The team cannot be completed without the Honorable Mark Brantley. So I want him there at my side. Going up to Nevis 3, we know Eric Evelyn. Up there is a district that has always supported the concerned citizens movement. And Eric Evelyn has continued that rich tradition of dance in St. George's. He has been there with his people. He was born and raised there. Been there all the time. Lived among his people. And so the people of St. John's will vote overwhelmingly. Go down to Nevis 5. You hear Biranka just, just, just now. Latoya. Latoya. I have worked with her. In 2020, in the federal election, he was, she worked with me and she ensured that we had victory. In 2020, in the federal elections, we were able to come out of St. Thomas Parish 80 votes behind because of the work that was put in by Brianka Jones. I said, Brianka, yes, Latoya Brianka Jones. She worked with me. She has developed that love for the people of St. Thomas Parish. So over in Craddock Road, I know she's going to roll heavy. People of Craddock Road, I want Latoya to come out of Craddock Road at least 80 and 90 votes ahead. Give her that start. When she gets that start, you roll into Jessup. She's going to do excellent in Jessup. Go up to Cat Ground. She's going to do a wonderful job when it's all said and done. She's going to win by 25. Latoya, you going to win by more? Barnes got her, yes. Barnes got St. Thomas is on a hole. She's going to come out with a victory, whether by one, 
whether by 10, whether by 25, she'll come out with a victory and that is the most important thing. Because St. Thomas Parish would therefore have someone at the table, round the cabinet table, pushing the agenda for that constituency, agitating on your behalf, making sure roles get done, making sure all of the projects and plans and programs that she has to roll out in St. Thomas's, those would be executed. It can only be done in, from in government, so put her in government. So lot of you going clear too. Well, I let myself for last because you know they say all kind of things about St. James. St. James now go one way. Not a way. When we come out of Butler's Road, down into Brick Hill, down into Camp, up in Fountain and down into Castle. Boy, I tell you, what a wonderful day that would be. I don't even want to use the word. Well, let me tell you something. The work has to be done tomorrow. I'm asking all of you from St. James, come and vote tomorrow. Take your mother, take your father, take your grandfather, grandmother, your uncle, your sister, your brother. Take everybody, take your friends, take everybody to the polls tomorrow. And when you don't take them and you forget somebody, go back for them. We're taking everybody. We're taking everybody we could find to the polls tomorrow in St. James, in St. Thomas Parish, in St. Paul's, in St. John's, and in St. George's. Every constituency must be on board to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, Lord of Mercy, River, but don't get off now. Oh my goodness. Anyway, that was my quota for tonight, but I'm going to leave with one message. I want to be back here at the Cove tomorrow evening. Uh, whether it's in the early morning of December 13th. I want to be here celebrating with you. We want to be here as a party celebrating together. Turn the place upside down. Turning it inside out. Turning it blue to make sure that you'll have the new government that you deserve here in this island of Davis. That new mandate given to the CCM party. We want to thank you in advance, but you have to go out and vote. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my quote, and may God continue to bless us all. May God continue to bless this great party. Thank you very much. Victory is at hand. Let's go out and vote. Vote in the overwhelming numbers, and we'll have that wonderful victory tomorrow. Thank you. Full for the Alexis full of energy, St. James, how you feeling? You're rallying with Alexis, right? You're rallying with CCM, right? You know I can feel this victory. You know people, anybody come tell all you anything about NRP, just tell them, not them again. You understand? Not them again. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special treat for you just now. Where's what is? What is? Oi! Some. Oi! CCA massive, let me hear you! CCA massive, let me hear you! When I walk through the crowd tonight, I feel like I don't have sing this music festival. I see all kind of people. People from Brown Hill. People from Cox. People from Craddock Road. Anybody from St. Croix in the building? Oh, my God, Tonight, we have a special performance for you. My friend come from all the way from a big jumbo jet. His name is Hashim the Dreamer. Let's put your hands together for my good friend, Hashim the Dreamer. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, see how are you feeling? Say we nice. Say we nice. Say we nice, 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 nice. Come forward, Nevis. Let's go, let's go. Hey, I know a place where the sun and the sea collide. No stress, only pure vibes. Untouched by time, always on the rising. I know a place where the mangoes ever sweet. Just like the people that you meet, they call it the Queen of the Caribbean. So come, let me do it. Let me meet up at Wally. I hear that they having a party. Everything from town to Manning's in it. So you know that the thing of the highway. Oh, we can touch memes and hold a lime. Don't rush space, it's a happy time. Open your eyes, take flight. Feel alive when you touch down. Can't leave this. Leave this. Leave this. Come take a lime in. Leave this. Leave this. Leave this. Nice, just your life in. Leave this. 
Nives, just you and I in Nives, Nives, Nives. Play me low. Lush and green are the hills, crystal beaches and sugar bears. Say, come, let we go, bad village, tip in the springs and wine and chill. Break hill and ginger land the dead. Cutting ground, have no sky limit. From the top of the peak, I sing it. There's no place else I'd rather be. So let me be top at the Wally. I hear that they having a party. Saddle and ground here, linking it. Everybody. Oh, we got touch memes and hold a line. Check a killer be at sunshine. Open your eyes, take flight. Feel alive when you touch down. Can't be this. Be this. Me vest nice, come take our life in me vest Me vest, me vest Time of your life in Me vest, me vest Just you and I in me vest Me vest Stop it Me vest Me vest nice, come take our life in me vest Me vest, me vest nice Just you and I in me vest Time of your life in the vest. Nevis, Nevis, stop it. Nevis, good night, how you feeling? I came all the way from Tartola for this. Is this the blue machine in the building? Somebody make some noise. Is Brandy only Brandy in town? Make some noise. We voted for Eve Lady Gentle and make some noise. We voted for Jeffers only. Where are my Latoya fans? Make some noise. And now we voting back our premier, the Honorable Dr. Mark Brantley. Make some noise. My name is Hashim the Dream. My family them come from that. And I never thought that I would write a song that would become the anthem of a political party in Nevis. Run that tune there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Said it out of 10. What are we doing? We voted for CCM again. Say we got to put it up. Keep it up, pop, pop. Just keep it up, pop, pop. Keep it up. CCM keep up the moment. Keep it up, pop, pop. Just keep it up, pop, pop. Keep it up. Are we keeping the momentum or what? Make some noise. Right again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put your rag in the air. Put something in the air. We get ready for mark. One. Two, let me see it. Let me see you put it up. Keep it up, pop up. Just keep it up, pop up. Keep it up. See, see, you keep up the moment. Keep it up, pop up. Just keep it up. One, two. When you're feeling like you can't go on, hold on. Hold on. Premier Bradley and the CCM will keep you strong. Hold on. The other politicians will tear you down right now. Right down. But you can't recognize the sheriff who slow you down. No, even there's only one way to be a winner. Don't be this shine, no, we have to vote blue on election day. How can we do that? We vote the CCM non stop. Cause they come to keep it up, keep it up, pop, pop. Just keep it up, pop, pop. Keep it up, CCM keep up the moment. Keep it up, pop, pop. Just keep it up, pop, pop. Get it here. Push it, 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 in this upcoming election, we are running on our record. The people of St. John's have been exceedingly kind to me over the years. You have elected me time and time again, and I'm asking you to continue to repose your trust and confidence in me. You know in me you have a leader that you can trust, and in the CCM, you have leadership that you can be sure of. We have done remarkably well on the island of Nevis, whether it was the way we handled COVID or the way we have continued to develop this island. We're asking you not to gamble with the future of our island. Continue to stick with us because in us, you have leadership that you can be sure of. You have leadership that you can trust. Forward!
You know what time it is? CCM people come forward. You ready for the sheriff? We voted for Mano. You we ready voted for Mano. Bradley and the CCM. Are you ready? The job will get done now. Ladies we voted for Mano. We voted for Mano. Go to Yadi. Let me welcome the leader of the concerned citizens Aye. movement. One needs us to be a better country. I want my people to have prosperity. So I, I will vote for CCM and my Bradley. So when you see him, no, when you see him, trust me, it's no problem. We keep in the country strong with the momentum. Other politicians just beat around me. So if you want the job, get done. Give him a call, call, call. We voted for Mac now. We voted for Mac now. Riley and the CCM. The job will get done now. We voted for Mac now. We voted for Mac now. Riley and the CCM. One time, everybody say less, say less, say we voted for Mac now. Say less, say less. Say, DJ, someone say less, say less, say less, say less, and vote to re-elect the mayor Mark Bradley. It is my pleasure, guys. My name is Hashim the Dream. Please welcome CCM, your leader, representing the people of Nevis. Make some noise for the premier, honorable Dr. Mark A. G. Bradley. Good, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I want to confess that when Hashim was performing, I made sure to hide in the back. Because I didn't want him to ask me to come up here to try and dance. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I am happy to see such a wonderful crowd here tonight. And we agree that we'll keep the speeches short so we'll have some opportunity to mix and mingle before tomorrow, the big day, the 12th of December, the day when the people of Nevis will make history and vote all five seats for the Concerned Citizens Movement. I want to welcome all of our brothers and sisters who have come from all across the globe to be here with us for this election. I met one gentleman who said he's all the way from Alabama. Somebody else said me they're from Ohio. I see people from Canada, the US Virgin Islands, the British Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico. But guess what? All of you are divisions, and we welcome you home. This is your home. You have a right to be here. You have a right to vote. And you've come to ensure that your island remains in good hands. So welcome, welcome one and all. And I love to see all this blue. I am happy to see so many of you who have come out to our final rally. And to be here with us, it has been a short campaign. But we say we're going to keep it short and sweet. We don't want you to wait too long. We want you to have the election so we can get back to business. And so tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, the 12th of December, that day that the Lord would have made, I want you to go out in your numbers, go out early and vote for the candidates of the Concerned Citizens Movement. In number one, we have the only brand in town. He has revolutionized water revolutionize our physical infrastructure. Look around Charlestown, the other side up and down say nothing happening. Well, I'm sure, especially for those of you who have come in, drive around, see for yourself, and even if you come in on their charter and on their ticket, because I know a lot of us came in on their charter and on their ticket, vote for the Concerned Citizens Movement. Vote for progress on this island because you have seen it and you can see it. Brand is the only man in number one. In number three, what can we say about Eric Evelyn? Eric, Eric has been with the people of Gingerland since he was a boy. 
He continues to be with the people of Gingerland. He is of them. He is one of them. He has never left them. And on election day, it is all in with Eric Evelyn. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, in number four, in number four, in number four, the man named Zook is sure in number four. revolutionized agriculture in this island. Our response during COVID was simply phenomenal. Zoo came to the cabinet. He said, listen, I want free seeds for my farmers, free seedlings, free water, free plowing, free fencing wire. Then he come and he said, you want free fish pot wire for the fishermen. He come, he said, you want free feed for the animals. He came, he said, I am going to give five shared houses to our farmers. Alexis has not stopped there. He has fought to get lands for the people of Nevis. 36 acres at Ghana's estate. And that I believe it was 17 acres at Herbert's Beach. When a lady came here and wanted to buy Herbert's Beach, Alexis said, no, we will acquire it to ensure that the people of St. James and the people of Nevis do not lose Herbert's Beach. And then down at the bottom of Anlis Road, we are buying another near 60 acres down there because he has said he will spearhead the first poultry industry right here on the island of Nevis. This is what we are seeking to do as we diversify the economy. But Alexis didn't stop there. Look around for the first time in the history of Nevis. We have housing developments happening at Madden's, University Heights, Rice's, Craddock Road, Hamilton, Chimney Crescent, and all of them happening at the same time. Never before has there been such a housing revolution on the island of Nevis. Under the man called Zook, NRP used to say that he is, he is, they say, a bulldozer. And when I say Zook, that's a hard word. Zook said, no, it means that I'm building Nevis. I use bulldozer to build, you need heavy equipment. And so I am saying to you that the number four, Alexis Zook Jeffers is sure. Go out in your numbers. Listen, I meet so many people tonight and they tell me that they're from St. James. One thing about St. James people, you know, them boasting bad. Wherever them go, wherever them go, they want you to know they're from St. James. And that is why I'm telling you, if you have any candidate in St. James who doesn't know where, if you have any candidate in St. James who doesn't know where Goat Hall is, don't vote for them. What? If you have any candidate in St. James who does not know the people of St. James, don't vote for them. Because if they don't know you, that mean you don't know them? Look how easy we go have a day. Everything we do is a bad day. I don't understand why it's so hot up here now. It's so hot up the place. Let me tell you something. The only person in St. James who has demonstrated his commitment, his ability, and who has delivered consistently, not just for his constituency, but for the entire island of Nevis is Alexis Jeffers. And let me tell you all something tonight. The reason that I feel so confident and comfortable with this team is that we were in sync recently. And when I said to Alexis and Eric, listen, things not going well down here for the island of Nevis. They could have said to me, boy, the bus is done. We just leave and we need to earn our salary. No. They said to me, wherever you go, we will go with you. Because the people of Nevis sent us here. And we are going to stick and stay with the people of Nevis. They were not interested in self-interest. They were interested in the welfare of the people of Nevis. And so when we saw that those in St. Kitts were not prepared to keep the word to the people of Nevis, we said, no, we're done with that. 
And see all of them now who used to beat them chest and say them a top dog, Ton Chihuahua. So I am saying to you that Alexis and Eric have demonstrated their love and commitment to the people of Nevis. And I want people with me where I don't have to look over my shoulder. I know they're with me, 100% with me. On election day, we gonna hammer them. Then, of course, the whole of St. Thomas is turned up. Let me tell you all, there was a time in this island when the NRP took the people of St. Thomas for granted. A time when they said St. Thomas is sure. Them say St. Thomas is a fish that don't fry. But along came LBJ, a young woman from Barnsgut, whose entire life has been a life of service to the people of Nevis. Latoya serving church, she serving sports, she serving culture armor, she serving the community, she even serving music festival in St. Kitts. She has spent a life of service to the people of Nevis and more specifically to the people of St. Thomas's. So it was only natural that when the CCM reached out on the retirement of Keith King, this and that Scarborough MBE, because I know you're listening and I have to address him properly. When the king decided that he would retire, we said we need somebody in St. Thomas's and Latoya put up a hand. You know what is interesting? Latoya has said that she comes from an NRP family. She said that her grandmother, Miss Dewberry, was a big NRP. But she said if Miss Dewberry was here today, Miss Dewberry would be wearing blue to support her. And when you hear somebody from a big and happy family has realized that the Concerned Citizens Movement is the best party for the island of Nevis, you know that Latoya Jones coming and she bringing the whole of Barnes got with her. So when I go over there now and I go to St. Thomas's, the NRP realizes that St. Thomas fish not fry yet. And they will now have to fight. In fact, their representatives say that she will defend at all costs. Look how easy we go have a day. Everything we do is a bad day. I said, Lord, poor Cleon. I feel bad for Cleon. I see Cleon with two green shoes. I walk up on stage. I said, Cleon, guide, walk up at your last walk up. I feel bad for Cleon. Cleon wanted to be leader of NRP. Them go on, them find Janice. Them shine up Janice. They say, Janice, we know you don't know people, and people don't know you, but we prefer you to Cleon. What? And Janice came out of nowhere and became the leader of NRP. And since then, she and Cleon don't like each other. They can't get along. That is why I tell you all, you see the CCM here? We rock solid. We are together. And that, I believe, is what you need in government. So Cleon did not get the leadership. And now, Lord, the seat that Perry gave to Cleon. Come tomorrow, Cleon will no longer be the representative of St. Thomas. So the people are saying, the young people are saying, those who are not so young are saying, even the school children in St. Thomas are saying, that is all the way with LBJ. So I talk about one brand. I talk about three, Evelyn. I talk about four, the man, Zook. 
I talk about five. Latoya. Well, who left? Who left? I am here to say tonight that the people of Nevis in me, you have not had a perfect leader. Because while my name is in the Bible, my name is Mark, not Jesus. So I recognize that I have not been perfect, but I tell you tonight that I am perfectly in love with the island of Nevis. And if you want somebody to fight for you and to fight for Nevis, I am your man. That's the next side. Are you the giant loose? That's the next side. Are you the giant loose? Me go and sink it. Them down there gonna watch me and try to push me around. I said, push who? What? Me? Not me. Because the man no make yet who me afraid. So me tell them, listen. I am not gonna push me around down here. And when I stand up and Zook with me and Eric with me, let me tell you, we strong like a lion in the concerned citizens movement. And that is why I'm asking the people of St. John's, you have been with me since August of 2007. And I'm saying, this is my ninth election. Nine times I have come and you have not disappointed me yet. The only election that I fell short was 2011. And we all know about that big black box in the Cox box. Thank the Lord we get to the heat. So we are now here and since, since that time we have been moving forward in St. John's. You know something? In 2011, they tell me I lose by 14 votes what? with 14 spoiled ballots and 203 people off the voters list. Vance was a good man. God bless his soul. Vance said to me, oh, you know, I'm a peacemaker. He said, Mark, take it easy. We're going to regroup and come back in five years. I said, Vance, Samuel, let me tell you something. You win Gingerland, so you're good. My father tell me that the best time to root up concrete is when it's wet. And if, if you allow this concrete to set, we got problems in Nevis. And so I made a call to Trinidad. I got a man named Mendez. And then people start to call me because you know I'm a good lawyer, right? Oh yeah. They started to call me and they came in and we fought the case and we won because the judge looked over his glasses and Hensley Daniel and said, Hensley, you're null and void. And we went back to the polls and in 2013 the people of Navy said three seats. Three seats to the Concerned Citizens Movement. Van Samri, Mark Brantley, Alexis Jeffers. And we went into government. And guess what? During the time the Honorable Van Samri decided that he will call it a day. He handed over to me, I think it was in October. And I said, I am not waiting around, let us call the election. And on the 18th day of December 2017, we went to the polls and the people of Nevis said, this time we will make history and give this new leader four of the five seats. That's the next side. Are you the giant loose? That's the next side. Are you the giant loose? So hear me now. You all made history in 2018. When for the only the second time you gave the CCM four seats and you gave me on my first outing four out of five seats. So what are you going to do for me tomorrow? <laughs> Let me tell you all, you know, CCM, this big blue machine, is not easy, you know. Because when we win the four seats in 2017, then we got all kind of thing to say. I tell my team, just ignore the noise and focus on the work for the people of Nevis. 2020 came, 2020 came, and I said to the team that we are not going to just win one. We are not just going to win two. We are going to win all three seats and paint Nevis blue. 
and we won all the federal seats in 2020. They say it was a fluke, so we came back on the 5th of August 2022 and we banged them again. We won all three seats again. And I am here to tell you that I am in a good mood. I feel it coming tomorrow. I feel the energy that we will be all fight for the Constitution Citizen Movement. On election day, we gonna have them. It's only one choice, we vote the CCM. Them up and down a ball. I make all kind of noise, hear them? They haven't got no money to bring in voters. What? Well, they amount to green people, Mr. Up and Down here. Who don't live here? I wonder how them come in. Them swim? Them swim? All kind of people here. But you see, NRP done, now they're going to lose the election. So NRP start from early to find an excuse. I don't tell you all, you know, if I am to run against Usain Bolt tomorrow, me no me going to lose because me can't run. So early o'clock, me start to tell you about me hamstring not so good. Lord, the track look wet. I don't run fast on a wet track. And I'll be done to tell all you the reason them lose. Them not got no money. Them can't bring in no voter. And when poor me look for two flights from St. Martin, we need say, Lord, we playing them done book out by NRP. What? So you know what we do? As what we always do. If we can't find plane to fly our people, we tell them come on and I'll be flight, cause and I'll be easy to pull. Me over here put me see somebody who I know to be a good supporter. Me see a girl out there in a green frack go hug up the man. The man watch me and the man went so. And I'll be easy to fool. So all of you who are here, welcome home. Welcome home. I am here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that they are already trying to build a narrative as to why they would have lost all five. But you see the CCM? When I tell you we're strong, we're strong. When I tell you we're strong, we're strong. Listen to me. We have retired Joseph Perry. Joseph is gone from politics. We have retired El Hansville, Hector. Gone, Missy Hector, the other day with some dreadlocks. I say, yo, Natty. We have retired the boy named Kelvin Daly. Kelvin Daly is the only chicken farmer who didn't know chicken only got two wings. We have, we have retired Hensley Daniel. I see hands there walk up and down St. John's in some hard kick and stab show. I tell people, boy, I you vote to pot. What? Boy, I you vote. And Hensley now won't come back as a junior minister in Nevis. What? Well, which part of Hensley is junior? Hensley teach me at school. And all me beard now gray. And Hensley say he want to come back as junior minister. I beg I tell Hensley go and go sit down. What? Judge don't tell him he's null and void. And he still want to come now to the back door. To come back on the backs of the people of neighbors. Hand up. Hand up. Go sit down. Take it easy. Then they bring Janice. Them say over in St. James. They call she Janice come lately. God, for 20 years, nobody see Janice. Nobody hear Janice. Janice was over St. James. And not a soul know she was there. She was like Casper the ghost. What? You can't see she. Let me not talk about ghosts in here. Are we Nevis people? Jumbi. You can't see she. You can't hear she. Janice cannot point to one thing she has ever been involved in in the parish of St. James. She not got church, she not got school, she not sponsor no community group, no sporting team. She not that even marble Janice the pitch over there. What? Janice not involved in nothing in St. James. And overnight, overnight, Janice Kinney cat and become the leader and start to go around and say, what's your name? You say, my name is Mr. Trust. Oh, I love you a long time. What? I want you to vote for me. 
What? I love you long time. Where were you for 20 years? I tell you something, right? See what I love about Zook in St. James? Zook has been involved in everything in St. James. What I love about Latoya in St. Thomas is she has been involved in everything in St. Thomas. What I love about Eric in Gingerland, everything Eric has been involved in. Long before politics, I was involved with everything in St. John's. And I'm telling you that Spencer Brand is the choir leader at the Anglican Church. The only choir master in the world who can sing is Spencer Brand. And when he conducts in that choir, he does a beautiful job. Spencer, take a bow. Good, good, good Christian fellow Spencer. That is why people are going to send you back. People recognize that in the CCM you have five clean citizens of the island of Nevis. You have a blend of youth and experience. We are old enough to know, but young enough to do. That is why when we needed an addition to the team, we reached up to the mountains of Barnscott and we got a young woman and we brought her to the team. And since that time, St. Thomas has turned up. Ladies and gentlemen, the other side is not serious about Nevis. They're not serious about politics. Some of them see it as a second career after them start collecting them social security benefit. What? I am saying to you that politics requires serious attention from serious people. And when somebody comes to you and asks you to put your trust and confidence in them, you must know who they are. And I have said to the team, we need not say anything bad about the NRP candidates on our platform. But all of us know them. And so we don't need to talk about them. What I am saying tonight is that we must recognize that some of us come for a reason, some of us come for a season. I am not sure why they have come, but one thing I know, that when you look at them, you can't see any love for this island. You see people who vex about something. You see people who are there for their convenience. You recall how they used to call CCM, say we want two jobs, we want one local and one federal. Well, guess what? NRP doing the same thing now. Hypocrisy, they call that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm saying when COVID-19 struck and we wanted to hold hands with the Nevis Reformation Party, I sat in my office with Cleon and Janice and I said to them, ladies, listen, COVID is bigger than the politics. COVID is bigger than all of us. We don't know which of us tomorrow is going to catch it. Which one of our relatives will be up there in the hospital? And I asked for their partnership in the fight against COVID. They said they would consider it. And a few days later, they wrote me a letter and said, not you. We will not partner with you in this fight. And that's when I knew that they had no love for the people of Nevis. Because whilst they refused to join the campaign to encourage people to get vaccinated, them all went to the back door at the clinics and make sure them get their job. And I am saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, do not take my words tonight lightly. Do not gamble with the island of Nevis. Them up and down and say, give them a chance. What? Chance. If you want a chance, go to the church and pray. That's what Jesus is there to give all of us a second chance. Not the island of Nevis. This saying what you call it in Ludo. This saying Ludo. This saying Dice. This the Brag. This the Romy. It is time for the people of Nevis to continue to stick and stay with a party that is proven and a party that is looking out for them. Now listen, I have not come tonight to step along. This is a night when we rally, but our plans and programs have been laid out in our manifesto. We sent our manifesto live last week, and I find it interesting, and this is where I speak about the lack of seriousness, that here we are on the eve 
of an election on the island of Nevis. And only one party has published the manifesto. What? Only one party has put out their ideas as to what their plans and programs are for the island of Nevis. The other party has not put out anything for you to peruse. So let me ask you something. When you go to vote tomorrow, what are you voting on? What are you voting on? Where's the blueprint? Where's the plan? Where's the program? What is it they're proposing for Nevis? You mean to tell me NRP couldn't even put two thoughts on paper and say, well, this is what we plan to do for the people of Nevis? The CCM is the only party that has published its ideas, its plans, and its programs. You know why? Because we are a serious party. And we take the affairs of this island seriously. No manifesto. But the reason why there's no manifesto is because they have no ideas. They feel that cousin Mark Brantley is somehow going to help the island of Nevis. He can't help Nevis. And the more than cost me, the better I look. You know, see how slim and fit me look? Me look good for me age, you know? Let me tell you something. I don't care how much them cost me. Because as Latoya Jones reminded us the other night, cussing can't create one job in Nevis. Cussing can't solve one healthcare problem in Nevis. Cussing can't build one road, nor one house. And all in up here do a cost, 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 cost. What? I mean, I know what I'm gonna cost me for. Because even my cousin Patricia said that she voted for me. Well, I know that. And he has gained the confidence, mind you, of some people. Because I know, and I can share this with you and the audience, I voted for him the last election. Let me ask you something. When was the last election? Who are the candidates in the last election? So if me and Pat are the two candidates, and Pat go up and radio and think it's to say, and I want to share something with you. I voted for him in the last election. Well, Pat vote for me in August. If Pat has vote for me, why I should vote for Pat? It means that Pat has no confidence in herself. Pat go into that ballot box and Pat say, Pat say, Lord of mercy, I'm accustomed to voting for the hammer. All my life I voted for the hammer. I know my good, 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 good cousin Mark is a good leader. What are you doing here really and truly? Me, me vex with Mark because Mark couldn't do one thing for me. Me not really want to be in this thing. So Pat said, I'm going to help Mark to win it. I'm going to give Mark me X. Because Pat told you all before the federal election, if I win, I don't want no portfolio. Me not plan to do no work. So Pat went into that box and Pat said the better man to represent Nevis and the people is Mark Grantley. So let me ask I had a question. If Pat now votes for Pat, then why I must vote for Pat for? And you know, when that clip came out, somebody sent me something and hear them. Oh, you all manufactured it. Whose voice is that? They said it's not mine. Pat who take up this cell take both for singing. Donna sing is on a radio station down there. And say, but she wants to hear something. And what she hear that for? Who she vote for is between she and God. Me know she vote for me. Me tell her she was going to vote for me. But she not had to go and make it plain like that. So she said, I want to share something with you. I voted for him. And if she vote for me, I say thank you. When we got strategy meeting, the fellas are tell me, you must be hard to platform. I say not me. I will never ever say anything about me. Thank you. 
I want all of you to go home soon. Get some rest. Because tomorrow morning, I don't want a soul drop sleep. And then tell me that I kept you all up too late and you all missed the opportunity to ensure that the concerned citizens' movement is re elected in this island tomorrow. So I want you all, please, the polls open at 7. If I could get there at 6 30, do that. Get there early. I know up in Gingerland, Eric Evelyn will be done. I said 10, he said 8.30. If he's done by 8.30, all the better. Gingerland people, St. George, when you all are done, I want you to spread out. Come down to St. John's and into St. Paul's and St. Thomas's and St. James and help us. Tomorrow is going to be an historic day here on the island of can feel the energy right here at Caribbean Cove. We recognize that from the mountains of Rollins right down here to the lowlands of Low Street, it will be CCM all the way. I don't know if you all have heard the news. Two days ago, the Caribbean Development Bank sent me a note to say, they have approved U.S. $17 million for the geothermal project we needed. I say praise be to God. Tenacity, leadership, stick to itiveness. That is what we are in the concerned citizens movement. And so tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, listen, I want you all to do me a favor. I want those of you who are, who are driving, pick up somebody and take them to the pool. Make sure you're Make sure your friends and family go out. Make sure to goes and you tell them tomorrow I want you to make a neat little X. Don't make a big X. Don't make a big X. I'll need little X in the box next to the hammer. For those of you who are here, our Dominican friends from Santo Domingo, from San Pedro de Macorís, Votar CCM. You think we can't talk Spanish? You hablo la lengua. El Matillo Azul, solamente azul. Vote, vote, CCM tomorrow. Listen, listen. You know why I want all the non nationals to vote CCM? Because when NRP was there, Lord of mercy, they used to treat non nationals too bad. A work permit used to cost $2,000. When the nationals wanted a work permit, they had to go to two fellas. One from Brown Hill and one from Cox. And when they go, they had to pay four and five thousand dollars for a $2,000 work permit. What? They hold all the people passport when the people work, they can't get paid. An Indian man said to me, he said, Lord, I'm so glad. I'm so glad CCM is there. Now I say, why? He said, because now I cook his curry again. <laughs> I asked the man, I said, well, what do you mean by that? He said, because on the NRP, he feared to cook curry, God, and follow the smell of the curry and come lock him up to the photo. <laughs> now he could cook curry. He could cook dal. He could cook metai, he could make pepper pot, whatever he wants to make. And Nevis is now welcoming everybody who wants to make a contribution to our island. NRP used to harass people. And when they deport people, you know what they do? They put a notation in the immigration system that those people cannot return to the island of Nevis. That's a designation that is reserved for terrorists and the most terrible criminals. That's how they treated our non-national community. What? That is why I know 
that the people are going to go out and vote and vote overwhelmingly for the concerned citizen movement. Them out there ball, them don't start to ball yet. Them say we win election in the year. Well, just like Winston Churchill said in England during World War II, listen, CCM, CCM, we're going to beat them on the ground. We're going to beat them on the seas. We're going to beat them in the air. We shall never surrender the island of Nevis to that green team. Never. It is blue all the way. The concerned citizens movement all the way. So let me hear you. In number one, who you voting for? In number two, who you voting for? Number three, number four, number five. Ladies and gentlemen, it is all fight for the concerned citizens movement. So as I leave the stage, I encourage you, go out to vote. Go out tomorrow, do the right thing, make that X for the concerned citizens movement. And of course, my trademark, I can't leave the stage without asking you the obvious question. CCM people, Nevis people, St. John's people, St. Paul's people, St. James people, St. Thomas's people, Gingerland, Gingerland, let me hear you. Are you ready? Yes, this year, my Are you ready? ready? Let me hear you make some noise. Wake up the one of Nevis tonight. We're going to bang them. we bang them already. We're going to bang them again. Tomorrow, go out, earth, vote early. Let us get this job done. I'll fight for the concerned citizen movement. That's my quarter. Members of the team, could you come and stay? I want you all to see your next government. I want Mr. Brand on stage. I want Alexis on stage. I want Eric on stage. And I'm hoping that Latoya Jones could make it on stage. I want the people to see the next government. And let me tell you something, you know. Choose a holiday. Are you want me to call the governor tonight or wait until tomorrow? Call him tonight. Choose a holiday. And we're going to motorcade all over Nevis. Increase the We're jamming with the big blue machine. We're holding up the big Unfortunately, Latoya had to leave. We understand her situation. But we are the four Hebrew boys. And we have a young woman with us who cannot be here because of her situation. But we are asking you to go out and vote. All five for the concerts. Good night. God bless you. Enjoy tonight and go out and do the right thing tomorrow.
A lot, you know. Zane, don't tell the people, make sure you come out tomorrow and vote. Big up to the people, let me know, say, come out, but enjoy yourself, say, me, you don't need to buy DJ, but fresh, I'm going to be keeping you alive until the band ready, right? So smudge, let the people have enjoy themselves, quick and fast. Quick and fast right now.
out, sing out, sing out. Sing out, baby. Hey, listen, young boy, you better come. Jesus, baby.